Hello everyone, I'm Benjamin Mel, Regional Sales Manager for Gallagher Fluid Seals. In this webinar, we will discuss why we measure surface finish, two types of surface roughness measurements, linear and aerial, how we measure surface finish through contact and non-contact methods, and finally, contact and non-contact measurement considerations. To begin, let's discuss why we measure surface finish. The size and shape of irregularities on a machine surface have a major impact on quality, performance, and longevity of mechanical components. The quantification and management of these irregularities through measurement is necessary to maintain a high level of product performance. Two types of surface roughness measurement include linear and aerial. Linear is a measurement of a single line profile trace, typically through contact methods. Aerial is measuring the area of a sample surface, typically through non-contact methods. Next, let's discuss contact measurement. Contact methods involve dragging a stylus tip across the surface of a sample. As the stylus traces across the surface, it rises and falls with the surface roughness, so the data is highly reliable. These instruments are called profilometers. When using a contact profilometer, it is highly recommended to drag the stylus axially across the surface and not radially. Now, Let's discuss non-contact measurement methods. A few include interferometry, confocal microscopy, electron microscopy, and laser scanning microscopy. Most of these methods involve emitting light from the measuring instrument onto the sample surface. Because these methods are non-contact, the sample surface is never damaged and very soft materials can be measured. Finally, let's discuss some considerations between contact and non-contact measurement methods. The radius of a contact profilometer stylus tip ranges between 2 and 10 micron. In contrast, the radius of a spot of light emitted from a non-contact profilometer is approximately 0.2 micron. This difference alone can produce conflicting measurement data even when the same surface is measured. Also, bear in mind, with contact measurements, you are limited by the radius of the contact tip. Therefore, the profile traces can portray inaccurate views of surface irregularities. In this webinar, we discuss the importance of measuring surface finish. We also discuss two types of surface roughness measurements and finally, we discussed considerations and differences between contact and non-contact measurement methods. Please stay safe. Take care.